Hey folks, we've been looking back at the year 2020 for Living Jazz. We ended the first half of the year with an imagined jazz TV game show. Now we're beginning the next half of the year with another sort of game show. What's with the game shows? You should go on American Idol. You should go on The Voice. You should go on America's Got Talent. You'd be great. The kind of music we play in that context? We're here backstage with Quantel Jenkinson. So, your first time on the show. You excited? Yeah, man, it's cool. Okay, you're up. Go. Yeah. What's your name, please? Quantel Jenkinson. So, this is kind of a different direction, you coming on a show like this. So, tell me what the thought process was. Well, I just wanted to get some gigs, you know. Good luck. We decided to check back in on Mental Mustafa, who had ushered us into the first days of the pandemic. We managed to get him in a better place. Now, in full lockdown, he's been doing a lot of shedding. But with no work or real musical interaction on the horizon, he started to slip back into depression friend Lavender suggested an alternative approach, at least to keep him busy in music. You should do like those musicians on Facebook or YouTube. Make some collaboration videos or live stream performance. That ain't even real. Those things are pissing me off. The month of June, nothing. Silence. Life was so up in the air and frustration heavy, as you'll see in the next two episodes. July 17, unemployment blues, as expressed by Lance of a certain age. Hey, loca. How you been making out in this crazy world these days? Bruh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm just trying to get paid. Squirrel trying to get the proverbial nut. So far, I got Jack. What? No relief check? Nope. No special artist grant? Nope. No unemployment? Unemployment? Hells no. Due to the high volume of calls, we cannot process your claim at this time. If you need to speak with an agent, please call back on the next business day. People ain't got nothing else to do all day. We'll be sitting on the phone. I swear, his mother. Pandemic assistance benefits cannot be claimed over the phone. You must claim online. Go to blah blah blah.com to claim your weekly benefits. I'm gonna have to put my foot up somebody's. Alright, let's try this again. August 26, more frustration. You know, just put on a f mask. As I watch this now, it strikes me that the music has a delightful, nostalgic holiday feel. But the message Bitter sings is so 2020. Feel a song coming on. 
Oh no, this song again? Oh yeah, this song. I love show tunes. Maybe you should smile when asking people to mask up. Be less threatening. Are you about to add to the noise and drama? Free speech is my right. Virus ain't gonna clear up. Put on a mask. My bill's just gonna pile up. Put on a mask. Don't make self-righteous rights a tragedy. Have compassion for folks. Death toll is stealing so much humanity. And it's not a hoax. Cover your face in front of me. It's not too much to ask. Selfish is what you want to be. But here's such a simple task. Stop spreading your COVID all over the place. Just put on a mask. Honestly, I was struggling to keep the humor during those months. Then I got inspired by a couple of Bob Reynolds videos. He's got some great videos. So I talked about some of the work I was doing, some new things I was learning, trying to stay motivated. There's more practice time. Yay, practice with no work to practice for. But we practice to improve our craft. That should be enough reason, right? <laughs> Funny, when I was young, I practiced for hours with no gig in sight. Now it's like I gotta have some work to be motivated. Hmm. And this is why I love Joe Henderson. Check out this Kate. And this is why I love Joe Henderson. I've been writing four horn arrangements for Sunday morning services at my church. I found that no matter how much creative license I took uh, with the arrangements, especially with the harmonies, stuff you wouldn't expect to hear in church, as long as I kept the melody going, mostly all the way through, the congregants would be right there with the music humming along. I tell you a lot about melody and good melody. And harmony, the thing I get excited the most about, nobody cares. <laughs> Next episode, we talked about conspiracy theories with Uncle Frodwick. Hey, what's going on? One thing that stands out to me is the conspiracy theorists. They've always been around, but now? Oh, hey, Uncle Frodwick. Hey, right on. What's happening, baby? He has some good advice. Well, I don't know about all those theories, my brother, but I do know that us got to stay perspicacious up in this piece. Got to stay woke, my brother. Right on and drop some knowledge. They've always been afraid of our music, baby. But back in the day, the media, the local government, the clergy, the prominent voices in society all tried to scare good white people from going out to hear jazz music. When that didn't work, they eventually went after the musicians. They put their knee on the neck of the jazz community by strictly enforcing the draconian cabaret card law. Oh my lord. Not the draconian cabaret. Just cabaret card law, son. If a jazz musician wanted to perform and work in New York City, the most important place for jazz music at the time, he or she had to go to the police station and get permission. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hey, if I'm lying, I'm dying. If cats wanted to work in New York City, they had to go to the police station, get their fingerprints taken, have a background check, and get approved. Imagine that. The right for a musician to work is in the hands of the police. Officials would never allow doctors to experiment on people. 
My brother, repeat after me. Follow me now. Ta, ta, ski, ski, gi. <laughs> Tuskegee. Funny word. Early 1930s, United States Public Health Service syphilis study, luring unwitting black men under a duplicitous premise of studying bad blood just so they can stand back and watch syphilis ravage their bodies, see what happens. And for their troubles, these brothers were given free meals and burial insurance. <sighs> oh, well then, this ain't what we heard, this is what we know. Don't let's start talking about the Tulsa massacre. I can't, I just... All right. And when, as far as conspiracy theorists, I believe the people who are the biggest conspiracy theorists are the people most capable of thinking up and carrying out these nefarious designs. Think about that, my brother. Toothpick, my brother. By November, it was back to foolishness with Lavender Lance and with the help of Uncle Frodwick, accompanist for Lavender's singing efforts. The brother, I fear, has developed delusions of grandeur. He pays more attention to garnering the attentions of his adoring public than to the music. He's just not ready, baby. For instance, the top of every song for him is like an annoying knock at the door. How so? Can't find the key and don't know when to come in. It was that time he was about to sing at a nice club for the first time and had an attack of nerves. The club owner requested the song Misty and he couldn't remember the words and didn't have time to look them up. He then related this information to me, and naturally, I told him, Don't worry, baby. If you get into trouble, just look over at me, and I'll help you out. Right on? Feeling a little better now, he gets on the stage and starts singing. As soon as he sings the first phrase, his mind goes completely blank. He looks over at me, and I said, B-flat minus seven. Then that other time. Okay, guys, first song of the night. What are we doing? Okay. I remember April. Do the first six bars in the key of A, then at bar seven, modulate down to the key of F, and bar 12, back up to the A again, and seven, eight time. Then on the bridge, you pause for a five and a half measure piano solo, then come back in at the top of the bridge and finish the song out from there. That sounds a little crazy. I'm not sure I can do all that. Well, that's how you did it last night. And finally, the last episode of 2020, besides this one, of course, three crazy what-if scenarios. I like putting together things that normally don't go together. Like, what if Lester Young was at a wedding band rehearsal just before the gig? A wedding band today. Okay, Prez, let's do only the- Uh-uh, no, no, back up. Back the f up. 12 feet, lady band leader. I ain't looking to get bruised by this unsanitary pandemic sh you dig? Okay, let's do Uptown Funk. You know that one? You just have to play the horn section part. Very important on this one. It's like this. not really gonna work press look I can't make this lady band leader besides this is too much noise for me I can't stand no loud shit. it's got to be soft powder puff like that you did soft eyes for me it's got to be sweetness look this is when I split <laughs> what if a gospel choir sang a classic Wayne Shorter tune. Let me journey to eternal by and by When you know me that they choose you in the sky Lord, Lord, please won't you hear my cry So look back, so look back and I wonder why Spirit, breathe on me now Spirit, breathe on me now. Spirit, breathe on me now. Spirit, breathe on me now. Spirit, breathe on me. Spirit, breathe on me. Spirit, breathe on me. Spirit, breathe on me. Spirit.
Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching and following. I hope these videos lighten your heart at least a little, especially in these heavy times. Happy holidays and bright moments. <laughs>